Spirit? Amen. Pretty good there. But I didn't hear much over here. What do we say? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Amen. Amen. Very good. So, to, you know, I, sometimes we've been, talk, we've been talking about different things every Sunday, right? Sometimes we talk about the gospel. Sometimes we talk about maybe something we see in church. But today, I want to talk to you about a saint, okay? Every day in the Orthodox Church, every day we celebrate at least one saint, probably several saints, and even sometimes thousands of saints on a particular day. So there are probably over 3,000 saints that we know their name. We know a little bit about them. Sometimes we know a lot about them. And the saints, of course, are holy people that are an example to us, show us how to live like Jesus Christ. Okay? Show us how to grow closer to Christ. Now, today, November 13th, who do we celebrate today? Very special saint. Anybody know? Anybody know the special saint we celebrate today? So, the, we remember the angels all the time, but I'm thinking of somebody else. Your sir over there, what's your name? Go ahead, what's your answer? Can't hear you. Okay, God is, God is holy, but he's a, we're thinking of a person, a saint. Okay, come over here, you know. Archangel Michael was last week on the first do you know? Saint Uchal. Oh, Saint Roman. Saint Roman. October 6th. Anybody know? Saint Luke, October 18th. Okay. okay, I'm going to give you a clue, okay? So. He is the author of the Divine Liturgy that we celebrate every Sunday. We celebrate the liturgy of who? Who wrote the liturgy? Do you know? Holy Spirit. Well, the Holy Spirit inspired him. Very good. St. John Chrysostom. Have you ever heard, anybody ever heard of St. John Chrysostom? Raise your hands. Okay. Good. So, I'm gonna, so hopefully after today, everybody will know about St. John Chrysostom. St. John Chrysostom lived, remember we talked about modern saints? Some of you, we talked about modern saints that lived in our time. But St. John Chrysostom lived 1,700 years ago, okay? And he was a bishop. He was the Archbishop of Constantinople. Has everybody heard of Constantinople? Okay. Archbishop. And why do we call him Chrysostom? Can you say that word? Chrysostom? What does that word mean? Does anybody know? Does anybody know what that word means? It's a Greek word. Does anybody know what Chrysos is? Very good. Chrysostom means golden mouth. Now why do we call him the golden mouth? John, St. John, the Golden Mouth. Why would they call him that? Anybody? Do you know that? Anybody know? Anybody? Why? Who do you think? Because maybe he spoke a lot about God. Good. That's very good. He spoke a lot about God, and he did it very well. He, he spoke very well. Like his words were like gold. They were so valuable. They were so important. And he helped people grow in their faith. That's why we call him St. John Christian or St. John the Golden Mountain. Now, as I already mentioned, he wrote the Divine Liturgy for us. So the liturgy that we celebrate every Sunday, he wrote that 1,700 years ago 
And every Orthodox church in the world celebrates that liturgy, and they've been doing it for 1,700 years. That's pretty amazing, right? Pretty amazing. Now, one last thing I want to tell you about St. John Chrysostom, even though he was an archbishop, even though he was the golden mouth, because he spoke so well and so eloquently. Does anybody know what happened to him at the end of his life? Do you know? He became a saint after afterwards. So yes, afterwards. But I'm thinking like the last few weeks or years of his life. Does anybody know what happened? So you know what he what he did is he saw that the leaders in society at that time, the emperor, the empress, they were doing things that were not right. They were, were not good. And he spoke out against it. He said that what you're doing is wrong. And what happened? Did they say, oh, you're right, we should, we should change our ways, we'll do better next time? Did they say that? No. No, you're right, they didn't say that. What did they, did they know what they did instead? Right, they kept on doing the stuff they shouldn't have been doing, and they even said they sent St. John away in, by himself into the wilderness, like, like it's almost like sending him away to a prison all by himself. And it was really harsh conditions, and in his, in his, in his journey, they sent him away, he died. He died from exposure and illness. So he was, well, he wasn't treated very well. Even though he was the Golden Mouth, even though he was the Archbishop of Constantinople, they sent him away to die. He died. So we recognize him as a saint today, November 13th, because today is the day that, that he, he passed away. And that's why, so every saint, we talk about a few other saints, St. Thomas, St. Thomas on October 6th, or St. Luke on October 18th. We celebrate those saints on that day because it's their birthday into the kingdom of heaven. It's the day that they die. Okay? So remember that. And remember, so remember the number St. John Chrysostom today, and remember your saint, your patron saint. Remember that, that person. Celebrate your name day on that day. Amen. So